Hello Taurus, welcome to your general reading for September. I hope you're doing amazing. Hello. This is a general reading, so if it doesn't resonate, that's okay. Check your moon rising or Venus. If you would like a personal reading, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. Links in the description box below, or you can go to the website up above. I'll be more than happy to help you. So we're going to jump in, get as many stories out as we can for the first half of September for you Taurus. So let's pull some cards first. Those of you who are having family issues of some sort, they will be resolved. Um, it, it's almost like both of you are coming to a higher understanding of a situation. So that's going to get better. Okay. Also, this is a good time of you feeling more secure. Um, be careful of like closing yourself off. This is a good time to get out, explore, meet people, things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be afraid to open yourself up at the beginning of September, Taurus. Um, it's time. <laughs> I feel like you've gotten yourself together, you've hid, or whatever that is. Um, and now it's time to get out, spend time with family, friends. Don't be afraid. You know, sometimes we can get really comfortable in our own space, um, in our own head. And it's time for you to come out of that. I mean, basically, that's it. Okay. All right, Taurus, let's see what September brings. We have the Death, the Six of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Five of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Knight of Cups, the Sun, and the Hangman. Beautiful. Don't let conflict get you down the beginning of September. Um, I feel like you're really in your head about some changes. I don't know if it's changes in your life or changes that you want to make. Um, but we will explore that. So, yeah, this is you like feeling distant from everything. You may be withdrawing, you know, and it's definitely time for you to come out of that. Okay. Okay. So let's see the first row. You're going through some sort of changes towards within yourself. That's what I feel. Um, and that's probably why you're keeping to yourself. I don't know. It's like it feels comfortable that way. But I feel like people are trying to get you to come out or talk to you or explain something to you. Um, it's like someone is trying to get you, get your attention. Okay. Um, and it's something you should give to. So if you have friends that want you to go out or family that wants to talk to you or something like that, don't be afraid to, to do that. Yeah, it's time to walk away from something, you know. Um, you've spent a lot of time with yourself or in your own head and it's time to come out of that. Yeah, because you've been relying on it way too much. So it's time for a change. It's time for a change. Um, because it's getting to a point where it's becoming um, too comfortable. And it's time for you to get out and explore or do things or experience something different. I mean, that's really it. That's the first thing. <laughs> okay, and then the Emperor. The Five of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. Yeah, 
So this to me looks like you you put somebody out of your life or just people in general. Um, I feel like you did this to feel safe, to feel in control. Yeah, maybe you were focusing more on your money or your career or I don't know. It gives me this feeling of like feeling like it's best to be by yourself, like Maybe other people don't understand you or people don't see things your way. So it's easier to just write people off as um, not being on the same page or something like that. But I feel like you're missing out on a lot of opportunities and things. This is really about you getting out. And this is really about you... Um, not being afraid to express yourself, not being afraid to connect with others. Yeah, this is really about you getting out of your own head. Because being in your head too much or being by yourself is, is causing the conflict or causing the confusion. You know, it's like you need to go out and have fun to experience things. So I see you going towards something that makes you happy during this time. Um, you might even go out on a date, to be honest. Um, and it's someone you feel safe with or someone you can trust. Someone you can talk about. Someone that you feel like you can open up to. But I see that you're being a little hesitant. So this could be a date as well. Um... And feeling a little hesitant um, to open up fully because you're scared of what this person um, can do or hurt you. Yeah, some this person's worried about your actions. It's like you make a sudden decision towards to take somebody up on an offer, right? Um, you get this sudden feeling that it's something that you really want to do, you know? It could be that you've been working really hard and you just want to do something else or have fun or go out on a date or whatever that is. Um, and I feel like someone's really excited that you chose them or that you decided to say yes, but your actions are a little weary to them. So yeah, I feel like you, even though you go and you're excited, you start getting really in your head about things. Yeah, you start thinking way too much. You may be nitpicking about every little thing that they're saying. Um, it's like you revert back to this old, I want to keep myself safe energy and you start closing off a little bit. Be careful that you don't make a decision that ends this before it even starts. So this energy, Taurus, you're just really in your head during this time. You know, um, I don't know if there's some sort of, I'm also feeling like there's a relationship in your life. There is where there is some sort of conflict or some sort of issue, but it's mostly unsaid stuff. It's not like you're having an argument. Um... It's like a fear of something ending. Because it's mostly on your side that you have this fear. But the other person just feels like you're pushing them out. They're really trying to get your attention, but you're not like letting them in. You finally accept it, but you're so standoffish. You're so standoffish. Yeah, you definitely go on some sort of date or meet up with someone. 
And it's because you've decided, maybe you've been working really hard or you're trapped in your head and you want something different, but you don't trust them. Yeah, you don't want to be alone. You do want to be around other people. You do want to connect, but you're having a hard time trusting right now. This is a good time to build some sort of friendship or trust within someone, but you have to allow yourself to do that. Yeah, you got to let go of the past. You got to let go of the past. Um, I feel like you're scared of being hurt. You've, you've kept yourself protected by being alone, and now it's time for you to come out of that. Somebody really wants to talk to you. They really want to have a good time with you. They want to explore your relationship or get a better connection with you. But you have to allow yourself to, to let that happen, okay? So, Taurus, thank you for being here. I love you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.